children it is a continuation of the chapter quadrilateral you learnt different types of quadrilateral in your previous classes you studied the properties of parallelogram square rhombus rectangle etc now let us glance the properties of parallelogram once again you know that in parallelogram opposite sides are equal opposite angles are equal diagonal of a parallelogram divides it into two congruent triangles diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other adjacent angles of a parallelogram are supplementary so in parallelogram opposite sides are equal opposite angles are equal diagonals divides the parallelogram into two congruent triangles diagonals bisect each other and the consecutive angles adjacent angles are supplementary now you consider one parallelogram pqrs in this parallelogram opposite sides are equal opposite angles are equal means you can write in parallelogram parallelogram pqrs you know that pq equals sr and ps equals qr and angle p equals angle r angle p equals angle r and angle s equals angle q and consecutive angles are supplementary means angle p plus angle q equals 180 degree they are supplementary similarly angle q plus angle r equals 180 degree they are supplementary angle r plus angle s equals 180 degree they are supplementary similarly angle s plus angle p equals 180 degree the consecutive angles or the adjacent angles are supplementary and you can write that angle p plus angle q equals 180 degree angle q plus angle r equals 180 degree angle r plus angle s equals 180 degree angle s plus angle p equals 180 degree then also here diagonals diagonal divides the parallelogram into congruent triangle you draw any one diagonal if you draw if you join p and r you will get a diagonal pr and you will get a triangle pqr and triangle psr they are congruent triangles so what you can say diagonal divides the parallelogram into two congruent triangles and if you draw the if two diagonals are drawn the diagonals are diagonals bisect each other here you join p and q r and s and q the diagonal intersect at a point o and you can say that this so is equals to oq and also op equals or op equals or diagonals bisect each other that is about the different types of different properties of parallelogram now let us discuss about the rectangle you know that rectangle is a parallelogram in which all the angles are right angle so rectangle is having all the properties of parallelogram and also in rectangle all angles are right angles and diagonals are equal diagonals are equal here by join in the parallelogram mnop you join mo and pn and if you measure them they are having equal measurement the diagonals of a rectangle are equal next about the rhombus so what is rhombus rhombus is a parallelogram in which all the sides are equal rhombus is a quadrilateral it is a parallelogram in which all the sides are equal it means it is having all the properties of parallelogram rhombus is having all the properties of parallelogram in addition in rhombus all sides are equal in rhombus all sides are equal diagonals bisect each other at right angles 
diagonals bisect each other at right angles here you know that in the rhombus efgh ef equals eh equals hg equals gf that is in rhombus ef equals fg equals gh equals he all the sides are equal and one more special property is diagonals bisect at right angles diagonals bisect at right angles means if you if the two diagonals are drawn in the rhombus they intersect at a point o and the angle at o are right angles angle at o are right angles so these are the two special properties of rhombus all the sides are equal diagonals bisect each other at right angles next about the square you know what is square square is a quadrilateral square is a parallelogram in which all the sides are equal and all angles are equals to right angles all angles are equals to right angles and you know that square is having all the properties of parallelogram and also in addition it is having some more properties what are the special properties of square all sides are equal all angles are right angles diagonals are equal diagonals bisect each other at right angles diagonals bisect each other at right angles so what are the special properties of square square is having equal sides in square all the sides are equal in square all the sides are equal and all the angles are right angles all the angles are right angles and diagonals are equal diagonals are equal and they bisect at right angles diagonals are equal and they bisect each other at right angles so you can write in square abcd in square abcd you can write angle a equals angle b equals angle c equals angle d equals 90 degree and ab equals bc equals cd equals da and also you can have the diagonals ac equals bd diagonals ac equals bd together with that here if the diagonals intersect at o here o at o all the four angles are right angles diagonals bisect each other at right angles these are the special properties of square now let us discuss about the differences between square and rectangle square and rhombus and rectangle rhombus and also similarities between them now the differences between differences between square and rectangle you know in square all sides are equal but in rectangle only opposite sides are equal in square all the four sides are equal but in rectangle only opposite sides are equal in square diagonals bisect each other at right angles in square diagonals bisect each other at right angles and in rectangle diagonals bisect each other but not at right angles in both square and rectangle diagonals bisect each other but in square diagonals bisect each other at right angles but in rectangle diagonals bisect each other but not at right angles and all squares are rectangles because square shows all the properties of rectangle but rectangle is not a square rectangle is not a square this is the differences between 
square and rectangles. These are the differences between square and rectangle. Now, similarities between square and rectangle. Square and rectangle are parallelogram. They must show all the properties of parallelogram. That is the main similarity. And in both square and rectangle, all angles are right angle. All angles are equal to 90 degree. In square and rectangle, all angles are right angles. In square and rectangle, in both square and rectangle, diagonals are equal. In square also, diagonals are equal. In rectangle also, diagonals are equal. Therefore, what you can say, both in square and rectangle, diagonals are equal. These are the similarities. Main similarity, they are parallelogram. And in both square and rectangle, all angles are right angles and diagonals are equal. Now, about the differences between square and rhombus. Differences between square and rhombus. You know that in square, all angles are right angles. But in rhombus, no right angles. Only opposite angles are equal. In square, diagonals are equal. But in rhombus, diagonals are unequal. In square, diagonals are equal. In rhombus, diagonals are unequal. Square is also rhombus, but rhombus is not a square. Here the similarity is, here the differences. Here the, what are the differences? In square, all angles are right angles. In rhombus, no right angles. In square, diagonals are equal. In rhombus, diagonals are unequal. Square is also a rhombus. Rhombus is not a square. Now about the similarities between square and rhombus. You know that square and rhombus are parallelograms. So they are having all the properties of parallelogram. So what is the first main similarity? Square and rhombus are having all the properties of parallelogram. And in square and rhombus, all sides are equal. Both in square and rhombus, all sides are equal. You know that in square, all sides are equal. In rhombus also, all sides are equal. And in square and rhombus, diagonals bisect at right angles. In square and rhombus, diagonals bisect at right angles. These are the similarities. That is, all sides are equal and diagonals bisect at right angles. Next, differences between rhombus and rectangle. Differences between rhombus and rectangle. You know that in rhombus, all sides are equal. In rectangle, only opposite sides are equal. And in rhombus, diagonals are unequal. In rhombus, diagonals are unequal. In rectangle, diagonals are equal. The second difference, in rhombus, diagonals are unequal. In rectangle, diagonals are equal. Third difference, in rhombus, angles are not right angles. In rhombus, angles are not right angles. But in rectangle, angles are right angles. In rectangle, angles are right angles. And in rhombus, diagonals bisect at right angles. Diagonals bisects perpendicularly. Diagonals bisect at right angles in rhombus. In rectangle, diagonals bisect but not perpendicularly. In rectangle, diagonals bisect but not perpendicularly. These are the differences between rhombus and rectangle. And the next one is similarity between rhombus and rectangle. The main similarity means they are the parallelograms which are having all the properties of parallelogram. They are having all the properties of parallelogram. 